live. All right, let me check my audio. Make sure we're all we're all good. Can you talk? Hello there. All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, you can start. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to our BHL playoffs match versus it's the Quebec City Voyagers versus the Manitoba Moose, and we've got a good one tonight. Yupi, what are your thoughts on the game? Who do you think is going to win? I uh, I think it's going to be a pretty even series. The Quebec City Voyagers are going to have to hope Tango comes up huge for them. Both teams haven't played in quite a bit. The playoffs have been taking quite a long time to get going, but we're finally here. Um, I think this series could go either way. It's really just going to depend on which team can shake the rust off first and get a good first, get a good lead early in this first game. Um, some some things to note: the Moose are without one of their key players, Jets Twenty Three, for this game, and it looks like Birdo XD will not be here unless he has joined in the recent in recent memory. No, he not he has not. All right, so it looks like they're going to be running a three man to start this game for the playoffs. And the Voyagers might be doing the same. They've got Aiden Tag, Tango, and Ice Sky Wars here right now. It does I look like each team only has do... three skaters. Well, spoil... yes. Nope, Spoilum Look is on the server. He's going to be playing for them. Um, Looks like we're going to get going soon. Looks like... I don't know if either team's going to be uh, using their five minutes. Um... And Quebec City is going to call for five. Yeah, there we go. We got a little bit of time to kill here. Um, I'll bring up, I'm gonna look at the stats, a few key points going into this series. Tango being one of the highest point scorers this BHL season, as I mentioned earlier, arguably the heart favorite. He's gonna have to come up huge for his team and perform in this playoffs. This is his, uh, his second playoff appearance, I believe, in his career. Oh no, third? Third. Third playoff performance, he's made it to the finals once, unfortunately he was taken down by the... S12 Seattle Golden Eagles. Um, yeah, I mean, Tango, not a ton of playoff performance, but he his regular season showing, uh, I think he's going to be good enough for them. Caspit, a big player on the moose, probably the most experienced on the server for them right now until Birdo XC or Just23 shows up. He has, a, he has his own ring with the Huskies back on S10. He's going to hope to lead this team to uh, at least the second round this year. Nips his basically his rookie season. He hasn't played a full season until now. He's just got a got a few games under, under his belt each season. Krillis, somewhat of a veteran at this point. Uh, great four checker overall, just a solid forward. And Mimener, arguably a top three goaltender of all time, is going to be locking down the cage for the Moose here. On the other side, we got Polar Bear Friend. This is his second time playing in the playoffs for a BHL team. I believe he played last season with the Blaze. Did not end too well, but he's had a lot of improvement since then. And might be able to bring this team uh, a, a win here. They don't have their starting goalie, Luka Duka, who actually stole the job from him. And it looks like Spold Milk's here. We're going to be running a uh, 4v3 here, but don't count the Moose out. Stamina is in a weird state right now that three mans are actually pretty viable. So we might be able to see uh, some good play here from the Moose before their fourth man shows up. Especially with the quality of goal that Mimi is. Yeah. Look forward to see what he can do that night. I think uh, Miminer is going to be able to lock it down for them uh, for the majority of this game and probably keep them in it. Mimi is a known playoff performer, except for Game 5 of the BHL Finals. That's probably the worst game he's ever played in his career. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a side... I think this is gonna be a great, great series. I can't, I can see it going either way, really. Um, looks like we're gonna get going now. The moose are gonna end their five early. We're gonna get going. Uh, looks like. All right. We're about Let's to get, get underway. Right the They're saying play game. Nobody's here. Yo. We've been live. Let's go. Make sure it's good really quick before we start. There we go. And we're going to get it away here. Puck drop in 15 seconds. We're going to see the starting lineups. It's going to be Caspa and Nips versus Tango and Ice Sky Wars, as expected from the uh, Voyagers. And it's going to be interesting to see if the Moose can manage their stand for this game. And, and is, the camera, is the camera broken? Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes. Away. You want to commentate? Or do yeah, you want me it. to? Uh, sky Wars. Runs for the puck. Pass back for Tango. Taken away by Nips. He's got a chance. His shot. Off the post. Oh, Polar Bear huge save. Away. 
Bit that of a fumble. That, that's that's yeah, a blunder there by the Voyagers. Oh, a little bit oh, of lag. A little bit of lag. Cast it behind the net. He's hit by Skywars. Still in the corner, though. Pass out front for Tango. He pees, threes it to the side. Tango makes a move around Nips. Hit away by Caspit. Skywars defends him. And it's hit out of bounds. Two big defensive breakdowns by both teams. The uh, Voyagers are getting bailed out by Luka. Uh, not Luka Duka. Polar Reference early in this game. And uh, I Skywars with a bit of lag there on his breakaway. He's going to lose it. Nips hits it into the offensive end. Skywars is there. Into the corner. Hit out of the zone. Caspit at center ice. He hits it back in. Tango can't get around Caspit. Caspit oh. shot. He scores. 55 seconds and we've already got a goal for Caspit. Something to note here is the Moose, their main offensive threat is those power threes. The Voyagers are going to have to lock those down. Um, it's looking like the Voyagers are going to struggle against those just based off that early lead and their defense has been not up to par so far. That's two big. That's two great chances by the Moose, and they capitalize on the second one. Casper wants to gritty right now. He claims. Looks like uh, the three man doesn't seem to matter yet, as I wouldn't expect it to. Fifty five seconds in, and we're gonna. It seems like the Voyagers are gonna keep their first line out, and they're gonna run with it. And go with. Oh, it. big hit! And that's gonna be a fall. No, it's gonna be a fall. Oh, face. All right, my, my apologies. No, you're good, you're good. Still learning some of the aspects of the game. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. This face off. Taken by Caspit. His shot's blocked by Skywars, who hits it out. It's in a rise to Skywars, pass over for Tango. It's taken by Krillis. Another blunder by the defense. A good recovery. Hit away by Skywars. Good defense. Way to get back. I think that they, they should not. I don't think they should be playing I Skywars right now. He's lagging pretty bad. He has been lagging a lot. Skywars hits it away. Back for Caspit. His shot up is taken by Tango. He'll skate into the zone. Defended by Caspit. Are, the, are they even in a Sky VC? Wars. They're yelling to LC in the chat. That is not something you want to see in the playoffs. Not, not especially in the BHL playoffs. Like I can see it in JBHL or NAMHL. Nip oh. shot off post. Post one there. Played out to the middle where spilled milk takes it up. Oh, that's he a big hit nip. there, and that's going to be a power play. And, for and this the will Voyagers. be a penalty now. That that's a, this is a huge chance for the Voyagers <laughs> to get back in this, and it's going to be kind of a stam cripple for whoever ends up on the ice for the Moose. They're going to be burning a lot of energy out there on a 1v2. That is not something the Moose need. Looks like they're going to run nips. with Aiden Tag, Spoiled Milk on this power play. They're going to they're gonna opt to keep Tango off the ice and get some stamina back for the 2v2. They're gonna, so it looks like they're trying to set a little bit of a face-off play here. Spoiled Milk and Aiden Tag. First power play of the series coming up for Quebec City. Aiden Tag into the corner. Looking for the centering He's pass. He's in the middle, but Spoiled oh. Milk in there. <laughs> He could get a chance. Gets a shot Goes just wide. wide. Build milk in the corner. 15 seconds on the power play. Pass up for Aiden Tag. He's going to take his time there. He freezes there like an ice cube. And milk just and a just... spectacular I play by Spoiled uh, Milk. Towards the ice. Got to hit it to the ice. But, you know, I'm not in the BHR now, so... Maybe I don't know something that he does. And he's just going to not take the face off and make Aiden Tag take it. A little bit of a breakdown the there by the Voyager. And the penalty's going to be over. Zero shots on net for the Voyagers on that chance. Very, very much a missed opportunity. And I've seen JBHL power play is better than that. <laughs> I mean, actually Aiden true. Tag. Taken by Caspit. Through center. Shot on goal. And once again. And oh, that's a blunder by Polar Bear there. Once again, the P3s just seem to... They can't counter it. They're letting Caspit shoot from deep. He's going to drain those shots from out there, outside the perimeter. I almost said three as I've been watching too much NBA. Um, That's it with two goals just now. Just Caspit putting the team on his back so far. The Moose absolutely rolling through this team right now. Caspit with, in, in a cast zone. right now. Voyager still have a lot of time to come back, and this is a three-game series, so even if they drop this one, I can definitely see them coming back. 
As well as the Moose only playing with three skaters, too. So we'll see if stamina can be an issue later in the periods. Face off one by Krillis, back for Nips. I mean, honestly, that power play could end up being a blessing for them in disguise because th their player that was off the ice gets to rest for a little bit longer. They just had to kill that, and now their stam is basically reset. Guy Wars in the corner. Nips is there. He hits it out. Back in the corner by Tango. And play will still be in the corner. Tango behind the goal. Gets around Nips. Pass out for Sky Wars. Hit away by Krillis. That was a good play. Pass over for Nips. Shot oh, goes wide. Great play there. Looking like Konechny. Tango. Through the middle. Runs over the puck and Nips has it. Tries a shot, but it goes wide. Tango in the oh, middle. Tango gets One got hit, hit there. That's Tango that got hit. Great shot. Tango shot stopped by Mimi. Oh, I Iwars Iwars. lags over the puck again. Very unlucky for all something. this lag. Kaspit off the ice for the Moose. This could be a chance for them to get on the board. Kaspit's been kind of putting Kaspit's the team back on, on the back. ice And now. now he's back out. Great stamina management so far by the Moose. It seems like they're not really struggling. Krillis is on 13, so is Nips, but Nips will be good soon. I'm sure they can hold on. Krillis plays it back out. Out of the zone. Tango with it. Shot Great shot. By Mimi. No one wants to play the puck, and now it'll be played back for Krillis. Taken away by Aiden Tag through the center. Oh, great move there. Loses the puck, and now it's Spoiled Milk with it. Runs onto the bench. That's not your bench, bud. <laughs> spoiled Milk, a rookie. I, this is his first playoff appearance, so maybe the nerves are getting to him a little bit. Aiden Tag, pass across, is blocked by Cass, but he's got... Another P3 shot. P3 shot. That's, the, that's the natural hat trick for Casper. Three goals in the first period. And I'm not... I don't want to be the, the negative in this uh, commentary booth. But I just... I want to see more from Tengo. Like, through this first period, I know it's very early in the game. It's just he's been invisible. And they need to match the offensive firepower that Casper's coming with right now. Not to mention Sky Wars with being so laggy right now as well. They need to, the the whole Voyagers roster. I need to see more from if they're gonna have a chance to come back in this series. This game is still winnable, but even like at this point, I don't see it happening. And at this rate, I don't see them winning the series. I can see a sweep. I don't want to say this too early, but it's very possible. Casper looking for four shot there, saved oh, by. This one stopped by Polar Bear. Maybe he's learning. Krillis takes it. Casper, one second shot is blocked by Aiden Tag, and, and that'll be like the they're period. they're finally left shifting in front of the puck. What a period for the Moose. Not just, what we expected at all for them to be out 3-0. Even the shot counter that's scuffed and doesn't count most of the shots has it 5-0 for shots. I mean, like, if you're getting shots counted on the on the shot on goal and slash stats, that, that just shows your dominance. Um, so far, it's been a very one-sided game, just, like, like chances-wise. Tengo's had a few good rushes, but nothing came out of them. Couldn't bury the rebounds on his shots right at Mimi. The current touch leaders are Tengo and Caspit tied with 48 each, as I would expect. Um, the entire Moose roster playing quite well. Nips playing pretty good for his first true playoff uh, playoff appearance. Played a little bit for the Highlanders last season, got his first cup. But let's be real, nobody really counts that as his cup. Um, Surprising to me, though, Spilled Milk only with nine touches so far. Spilled Milk hasn't really gotten a chance to do much this game. I want to see more from him. He's uh he's one of the more promising rookies that I've seen this season. He's been uh he's been around for a long time, finally cracked a BHL roster and you know, I like I said, I just want to see more from him. Well, it, it appears and he just left the game though. See, he'll he'll come back. He's probably relogging. I would assume. Looks like we're going to have a face off here and a uh, fall. And we will replay the face off to open the second period. Just going to have the Ice Guy was taking the face off. And Sky Wars wins the face off. Caspit, great play there to take it away. Tango gets it by him. Take it behind the Moose <clears throat> goal. Still with it. Out of the zone. Blocked by his own teammate, but Sky Wars, what a save by Mimi! 
What a save there. I honestly didn't see it. I was checking my phone. An incredible pink save by Mimi keeps it a shutout game. 3 nothing. Tango hits it out of the zone. Caspit retrieves. Pass over for Nips. It's taken by Tango. He's got a chance. He's got a breakaway. And his shot is stopped by Mimi. Another one. And it's cleared away. Those are just, these are just chances shot, you have to capitalize on in a 3 nothing game. Not a good and look. Tango with it. Taken away by Nips. He's still got it. Shot wide. Tango to Skywars through the middle. He tries to do something, but it's taken by Nips. And you can still see that he is still lagging. Oh, Tango, another. Oh, Tango he runs over it. the puck. And Birdo has arrived here for the Moose. And now there is a. Now we have four players on both teams. Moose already up 3 0. It's going to be a tougher comeback now. Birdo has shown some offensive upside this regular season. So let's see if he can continue that into the postseason. Birdo, one of the highest point scorers in all of BHL history in the regular season and the postseason. He's already on the ice with the puck. Krillis now with it. Can't get by Aiden Tag. And that'll go into the corner. Burdox. Plays behind the net. Aiden Tag hits it back into the corner once again. And now it'll be up to the point for Spoiled Milk. He gets around. Shot stopped by Mimi. That's another great save by him. Quebec City's had some good offense to start this period off. They just need to get a goal now. Oh, Birdo picking Birdo's. that pass. He has a chance. And it's played to the corner by Aiden. Out for Krillis. Where's Spoiled Milk? Oh. And this is another goal. Spoiled Milk got caught way behind the play, leaving Aiden Tag as the lone defender against Burdox and Krillis. And Krillis just had the wide open lane to the net for the shot. And it is 4 nothing now. I'm not sure what happened with Spoiled Milk, but he was just way behind the play and didn't even get back into the zone until after the goal was already scored. <laughs> and after all the offense by Quebec City, it's the Moose that get another goal. Oh, Peter my. Oh, what a play, and we've got another goal. Right off the faceoff, it's Krillis again. I think that's a fog. I'm not... I'm not too sure. Wait, no. If that wasn't his first hit, then no, it's not. This is just a very bad game from the Voyagers. I expected a lot better. I was hoping for a lot better as well. I can't help but think that a lot of these goals might have been saved if Luka Duke was in uh, I mean, I don't think Polar Bear Friends that bad. It's just Luka Duke had a great season in both the BHL and the NMHL. It could also be just the nerves getting to Polar Bear. Perhaps. Seems like the entire Voyager's team is lagging this game. Cast it spits some facts. Taken away by Birdo in the corner. Couple of hits, no calls though, because it's in the Spilled corner. Spilled milk is on a Chromebook. Oh, that explains it. Well, that's not how you want to play blocky hockey, especially in the playoffs. True, true, true. Brillis plays behind his own net. Looks for a pass out. Gets one, but it's taken by Tenko. And it's hit away by Krillis. We'll see if he can get another goal and cap off a hat trick for himself as well. Face off. Taken by Caspit as Tango just runs away from the puck. Tango. And he gets a hit, hit by Nips, but no call there. Nips behind the other team's goal. Polar Bear stuck on the side for a little bit. Now he gets free. Aiden Tag will play it out of the... Oh, not, not out of the zone. Nips keeps it in. Great play by him. And now it's out of the zone. Caspit with it. To the corner by Tango. Played out. He'll take it through the middle. Can he get a shot? What a save by Mimi. 
and Casta hits it out of play. Face off into the moose end. And no one's taking the face off. Cast it. A free face off win there. Defended away by Tango. He's got it. Plays it into the corner. <laughs> where he's double teamed by Caspit and Nips. Caspit defends it away. Back in by Skywars. Nips can't hit it out of the corner. Tango has it now. Still in the corner. Now it's out. And Skywars runs over the puck. P3 to the side. Caspit out of the zone for Nips. Back for Caspit, who runs over. And now he gets a shot off the post. Guy Wars hits it right to Nips. Oh, Caspit. brick. That shot goes off the post. That was almost four now for Caspit alone. Caspit still with it. A lot of pressure by the Moose right now. He'll take it out through center. Oh. And Tango gets it. He's got eight seconds. Sky Wars. Oh, wow. oh, 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 that oh, is too many men. That too is... many men. Way too many men there for Quebec City. That is just not a good play. This is Zero just a, this is play. embarrassing from the Voyagers. I think at this point they need to just start regrouping for next game. 5-0 going into the third. I don't I don't think that's winnable. Yuppie, what is the largest comeback in BHL history? Oh. I don't even know. It's probably like there's a pretty big one back in like S10, I think, or S11. It was like a 4-1 or 4-0 deficit. They pulled and came back and lost a minute and a half. Wow. I can't I can't put my finger on or I, I can't think of just what game was a bigger comeback than that. Usually comebacks don't happen that often in BHL. It's pretty the best teams are very good at holding leads. So it's gonna be um it's gonna be a very big surprise if they can come back from this. I can't see it happening, but I mean I, you never know. And we have a five to nothing game at the end of the second period. With the moose on the power play to start the third. Looking like the moose are gonna try to get another I I mean I wouldn't even call it a dagger at this point. Just they're just stabbing a corpse at this point. Um I just I, they, like I said, they need to just regroup for game two if they want to have a chance at winning this series. Um, Polar Bear's got to do a better job with his positioning on the P3 shots as well. But you look at the other end of the ice and you have Mimi who's stopped everything. He's been an absolute wall so far. He has done a fantastic job keeping the shutout so far. And here we go, third period in this 5 nothing blowout. Gaspit shot goes wide. Tango behind his net. Off to the side. Tango going to look to maybe break the shutout on this penalty kill. Tango looking if he, just if he, if he can hit his he moves. Jumps the bench. Tango trying to hit a curve there. It's just not going to work out. Now he gets it back. And penalty is over. Oh, Nip that shot is wide. He like jumped in front of the puck to block and he froze in the air above it. Just unlucky. And Sky Wars is oh a chance here. He's playing left handed. Oh, he always Tango. has. It's not too often you see a left-handed skater. Oh, Tango. Oh, Tango. Oh, it's five to one. Tango breaks the shutout. And Quebec City needs four more of those if they want to, if they want a shot in this game. Here we go, face off. Caspit, same face off play he always does. 
but he loses it to... Now Tango. Played away by Nips. That could have been dangerous if he didn't get it. Full of Milk plays it up. Tango. Won't take the shot there. He'll just play it behind the, the goal. Aspen with it. He skates over the puck. Full of Milk loses it to Nips out of, out of play. Face-off one by Tango. Shot goes wide. Nips. I think um, the Voyagers should try to like maybe win this period and then have some momentum going into the uh, into the next game. I was like, thinking like, the same thing. Like, I, like I've maybe. said, I, I think that winning this game is a bit out of reach, but maybe they come out of this third period like, hey, we outscored them 2-0 that period. We got some life going into the next game. I think that's what they need. Birdo ankling himself. Oh, what a curve. Played around to Blood Milk out for Krillis. He has not missed a beat since he left. Krillis. Oh, across the no. Birdo misses the shot, though. And this one will go into Blood Milk. That shot goes across the net, though. Not on. Guy Wars. Can't play it out. Birdo keeps it in. And now it's out of the zone. Have a line change here. Sky, Sky Wars pushing Sky Wars. the uh, puck up. Gets hit off, unfortunately. By Krillis. Krillis with a pass up there Krillis for Birdo. Birdo. What a play. A chance. Oh, and the, oh, oh my a, God. Oh, oh, he couldn't finish. That's another connecting that an shot. Play. Oh, saved by Polar, Polar Bear, Bear friend. He needs that to build his confidence going into the next game. Oh, he's he's killing it. Aiden Tag. We'll take it. I don't know what Krillis just did there. Went back straight to his goalie. Gave him a little kiss. Aiden Tag. He's got a chance. Doesn't Looking take a shot. Make a play. He doesn't do anything. Birdo. Can't get a good shot off. I just got pinged by a two split with a Valorant clip. I want to watch it. Birdo almost goes around the whole Quebec City team there, but he can't get the shot away. Krillis back into his own end. He's hit by Aiden Tag. No call. Oh. Polar Bear plays it into Birdo. Spectacular finish Birdo by Birdo wide. XD. Polar Bear hits it back into the corner. Sky Wars out for Aiden Tag. Aiden Tag gets around Birdo. Now he gets around Krillis. Oh, when Krillis recovers to hit it into the corner. Aiden Tag on the puck in the corner. Hit out and Caspit is there. Aspit. Taken away by Tango. Tango plays it right to Caspit, who gets a shot, but it's stopped by Polar Bear. And Nips will hit it all the way back down into his own defensive end. Tango on the puck. Played out by Nips. Aspit can't get it by his full milk, who blocks the shot. And that's taken away by Tango, who skates right over the puck. That could have been a great chance for him. Still with the puck, though. Played out for Spool of Milk. Spool of Milk is shot is stopped by Mimi. Tango. Can't get around. Both defenders clamp there. Now he's got the puck back. 23 seconds left in the play. Nips. Gets by both. Tango recovers, though. And Nips plays it back in. We've got 10 seconds now. And the, they'll play it behind the in their own end and kill the rest of the clock for the Game 1 like victory. That's going to be the end of Game 1. Uh, tough loss for the Voyagers. But I'd like to point out, they did win that third period 1-0. They did outscore them. So that's something, do have some... that's something positive to go into the next game. But uh, looks like we're going to move to the uh, the Manitoba Moose's home arena. And we're going to continue the series there. I have to make the next stream. Uh, thank you guys for watching game one. And we'll see you next time. Peace. We'll be back for game two. All right.